currently at the House of Prayer Ministry inside Cape Coast, and then we are here to talk to the man of God, the CEO and the founder. Just follow me and let's get some little interview with him. Good afternoon and welcome back to TasteNewsGH.com. My name is Kwame Achinfo and then we are here to talk to one humble servant, Prophet Dr. Nanayao Blessing. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Apome. Um, From the way you are smiling, I think you cool with kids. Oh, yes, I am. I do. I love kids. Take us through your family a bit. Um, I have, I have nine kids. I have um, uh, two boys and uh, three girls. Wow. Yes. Um, please, you understand you're a man of God, a prophet as well. How do you see the whole ministry in Cape Coast? Um, ministry in Cape Coast, uh, is not it's not as easy as how people say. Ministry in Cape Coast is very hard. The grounds is very difficult. Uh, in terms of spiritual uh, ministry in Cape Coast, in fact, uh, it's not easy at all. But with God, you know, as the Bible says, everything is possible. If you allow God to be your head, uh, if you allow God to be uh, your beginning and the end, uh, Cape Coast, you can do something. For here, is this the only church you have in Cape Coast, or you have different branches? Uh, yeah, we are now, we are now starting one in Accra, but this is the one that we have now. So this is the headquarters. Uh, maybe, because uh, uh, yes, for now yes, but uh, maybe I'll take the headquarters to Accra. Why Accra? Because these days we see people taking everything to Accra. In the music industry, we believe, or like people say. When you move to Accra, you are going to hit early. So is it that that's why you are also thinking of? No, 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 no. You know, um, um, I started. You know, uh, I was born in Accra. I did everything in Accra, and I came here and I started this. So, uh, if God has done this, uh, I think I have to go back to where I come from and start everything. The for headquarters. Even when I built this church. I told myself that uh, this is not going to be the headquarters. This is going to be a branch because the headquarters is going to be is going to be bigger than what you see here. Uh -huh. Let's go through your uh, ministry life. How did it all start? Uh, you know, I was once a businessman, a business tycoon. I was having a, a lot of money, and then the call came. Yeah, so when the call came. A lot happened when the call came. In fact, uh, I can't use just a few minutes to tell you this because it's a lot. Uh, uh, in fact, a lot came, and later I responded to the call. So, uh, yeah, I think this is all I can tell you. <laughs> yeah. So, this let's take it back to last year. We all went to church during the 31st, and then even though if some of us didn't go to church, we saw the uh, prophecies on internet and everywhere. What was your take on that? Oh, for the prophecies, uh, in fact, a lot of prophecies came. These days we see all prophets talking about MPP, NDC, MPP, NDC. What's your take on that? Oh, for me, me, I don't, me I'm not a political prophet. I'm a, I'm a man of God. Uh, even if I see anything, I will not say it. Because I remember some time ago when MPP was coming, I saw it. I didn't tell anybody. I, I only told my wife. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I know the God that I serve. And I, I, don't, I don't want people to speak ill against God. You know, when you become a, a prophet, a political prophet, people will insult God and they will say all kinds of things. So for me, I don't do that. Uh, yes, I don't do that. Okay. Um, I would, Daddy, I will ask if you would like any of your kids to be a man of God, or oh, if 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 all of them want to be a man and woman of God, I will love it. 
even though the work is not easy you know especially why i'm asking this is we had an interview with one lady and then she was like she wanted to be a nurse but then her dad doesn't want her to be a nurse her dad wanted her to be a teacher that is why i'm asking if any of of your kids wants to be a nurse oh, even even if all of them want to be a man of god I'll, I'll, I'll allow them to be men and women of god i'll allow them to be because uh, uh, you know this job is not an easy job because uh, uh, you hear a lot of things people will insult you and people will say all kinds of things against you but if god has called you you will you will you will adjust yourself to those things yes and they know what i'm passing through you know they know all what what go go on in my life so if they also decide to be a man of god and woman of god i will allow them to any advice for the kids who are on the streets not going to church not going to church per se like who hasn't given their life to christ oh they have to give their life to christ because uh, you know in life without christ you can't do anything I have tasted him, and I've seen who Christ is. You know, I have a, I have a, I have a picture here. Uh, uh, I did 40 days and 40 nights. This picture, I think it's 10 years ago. I did 40 days and 40 nights dry. So, dry. Yes. So I know who has called me, and I know what I'm doing. You know, you know. How was the feeling? It wasn't easy. You can't sleep. You can't do anything. What you do is, and uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's not easy, not at all. So I know what I'm doing. I'm not just, I'm not just a, a, a pastor. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pastor ordained by God. Because these things, if you're not ordained by God, you can't do this. If you're not ordained by God, even 21 days, you will go. Okay. Before we wrap up, a little advice for the youth. Oh, what I'll tell the youth is, um, you know, you can't do anything without God. And you can't do anything without Christ. Look at me. If I ask you to give me an age, you give about 35 to 40. But I'm 53 years. I, I, I'm 53 years old. You know, I'm not young. And I, I can tell you that, uh, you know, with God, with God, with God in your vessel, with God, you know, working with God, um, even besides if you no we say you 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 are young and the lord is with you so i would advise all the youth to stick to god be prayerful and then they shouldn't uh, they shouldn't uh, um um love prophecies but they should love the word of god because prophecy now is swaying people from god is taking people from God so they should love the word of God more than the prophecies now the prophets are using this prophecies to 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 to, to sway people from God so I will I will, I will uh, advise them to stick to God they should pray uh, the word of God and then uh, 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 they should they should they should they, they should pray they should pray yes okay. yes before we end, what time do you start service? So, for those of us who are new in Cape Coast and would love to visit your church, what time? Okay. Uh, on Wednesdays, we start church around 12 o'clock. Uh, that's Wednesday morning, Miracle Service. We start at 8 and then we close at 12. On Sundays, we start church at 6.30 and we close exactly at 10. And then on Friday, we start church at 6 o'clock and we close at 8. So two hours. Sundays. Sundays is 6.30 to 10 o'clock in the morning. Only one service. Only one service for now. Okay. All right. My name is Kwame Na Achinfo. And then I was your host. Nice talking to you. Prophet Dr. Nanaya Blessing. You're welcome. Mira was you, Mira was you. Ashemoro ma afe atuma. Mira was you, Mira was you. Namie. Mira was you, Mira was you. Eje imanda was ya, namio ti avo. Mini waya, namio ni babo ya ya fo. Mini me pusi ni na. 